Welcome to the Golden Ladle, the home cooking channel. Thali, the very name resonates with wholesome, filling, nutritious and homely goodness. Let's make simple and easy veg thali for two. The ingredients required for this are 80 grams of whole wheat flour, knead it well. 20 grams makes one roti, so this dough will be enough to make four rotis. Cover it and keep it aside for 30 minutes. Now wash one cup of rice thoroughly. Add two cups of water to it. Put it in a pressure cooker and let it cook till you hear three whistles. Let's make the bhindi fry. On another stove, take a pan and add two tablespoons of oil to it. Add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Let them splutter and then add two teaspoons of jeera. Add one to two dried red chilies and saute. Now add 250 grams of chopped bhindi. Add salt. Mix it well. Cover and cook on a medium flame for 15 minutes. Stir it occasionally. Curries when cooked on a medium flame don't lose as much nutrition and tastes delicious. After 15 minutes, it is ready. Now add half a teaspoon of turmeric and half a teaspoon of red chilli powder and mix it and keep it aside. Now in another bowl, take half a cup of washed tur dal, add one and a half cups of water to it, place it in a cooker and cook it on a medium flame till you hear three whistles. We will be tempering the dal twice to make it extra delicious. For the first temper, in a pan, heat around two tablespoons of oil and add one teaspoon of mustard seeds, one tablespoon of chopped green chilies, two tablespoons of garlic pots and saute. Once everything is fried, add one cup of chopped onions and cook for a minute. Once they are translucent, add half a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. When the oil separates, add 3 fourths cup of diced tomatoes. Add salt. Cover and cook it for 5 minutes. Now add the cooked dal. Adjust the water consistency as per your taste. Cover it and let it simmer for 5 minutes. Now adjust the salt at this stage. Now for the second tempering. In a tempering ladle, add 2 tablespoons of ghee. To this add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. One and a half teaspoons of jeera, around two to three dried red chilies, and two tablespoons of curry leaves, and let them all fry well. The aroma is truly delicious. To this, add one teaspoon of red chilli powder and give it a mix. Add half a teaspoon of turmeric. And finally, half a teaspoon of hing. Now add the tadka to the dal. Mix it and keep it aside. And now let's make jeera rice. In a pan, add one tablespoon of ghee and two teaspoons of jeera. Fry it till it becomes aromatic and splutters. To this, add a tablespoonful of curry leaves 
and saute. Now add the cooked rice. I am not adding salt to this recipe because the salt in the other ingredients should suffice. Mix it and keep it aside. Now take the dough, must have become soft after 30 minutes. Make it into 4 equal portions. Roll the dough evenly and cook it on a hot pan. Flip the dough and cook thoroughly till it puffs. The twice tempered garlic dal will definitely be a hit. And the savory bindi fry is an all time favorite. Curd to balance all the flavors. Jeera rice because why eat plain rice every day? Roti to add that dash of fiber and texture to the meal. A salad for a fresh start and homemade almond bread pudding that will keep you asking for more and more. Let me know if you like the recipe and do share the video with your friends and family. I will meet you again with another delicious recipe. Until then, take care.